Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's talk a little bit about letting ourselves off the hook. It's time to let yourself off the hook for the past. There's three different types of behaviors with thought processes within each behavior. There's three different types of behaviors I want to go over briefly. And this is a way of self-regulation. When, when this stuff pops up, when thoughts pop up that are negative, these negative thought processes, you need to squash them, to just be done with them. You're allowed to let yourself off the hook for the past. Just tell yourself, when, when the negativity arises, and you start thinking about the past and it hurts, Tell yourself, I no longer care. And be done with it forever. So the first type of behavior that you want to really self-regulate, that you want to be hyper aware of and to release, to get rid of, not suppress, but to release, to get rid of, is feeling sorry or regretful. When you start thinking about stuff that makes you feel regretful of the past and real sorry for the past, shameful over the past. You want to be done with that. Tell yourself, I no longer care. A and be done with it. You may have atonement to do. We each know, need to go through our own process of atonement of asking forgiveness from God for forgiving others that trespassed upon us. You know, there's a whole process there. I have other videos about it. You may need to do that. A lot of people do that, though, but yet they still carry this shame and guilt and regret. Regret is such a, a poison. So stop feeling so sorry. Stop feeling sorry about past conversations about what happened with past relationships. Missed opportunities. That regret sucks when you start thinking about all the things you missed out on, on where you should be right now. I should, I should be further in my life. Squash that stuff as soon as it comes up. If you can release these thoughts quickly, without putting emotional weight upon them, then they, they, they float away. That emotional baggage that you tie to these, to regret, to thoughts of the past like that, that negative thought process, it keeps it inside of you, slowly kills you. You're allowed to let yourself off the hook so you can move forward. The next behavior that you really want to self-regulate and that you want to check is feeling guilty. Feeling guilty about the stuff that you did. Maybe you hurt people. Maybe you've said things that made people upset. Maybe you made your wife cry. Maybe you made your mother cry. Maybe you have been a jerk. I know what it's like to be an asshole. I was really good at it. I've done a lot of fucked up things. It's important to go through a process of atonement in your life, but at what point can you move on? Are you allowed to move on? I'm here to tell you, you are. You're allowed to let yourself off the hook at a certain point. You don't have to torture yourself forever. And guilt is a self-torture. Tell yourself when these thoughts come up, I no longer care. It sounds cold, but I, I no longer care. I'm done. I apologized and I'm moving forward. I'm not going to feel guilty about this for the rest of my life and not into the next one. You won't make it to heaven with guilt packed away in your bags. You don't get to bring any bags. <laughs> you got to leave all your baggage here on earth. The last behavior that you want to self-regulate is feeling angry 
over past offenses. Stuff that has been done to us. A lot of shit done to me. A lot of people fuck me over. A lot of experiences of betrayal. But anytime those thoughts come up, that anger over the past comes up, starts to stew and the fire starts burning inside. It's like hot coals. And as long as, long as you let those coals live, they're going to always be there. You're always going to have that fire in there and it's going to slowly eat away at you. There's always going to be that topic that people have to avoid because you're going to get all pissed off. As soon as that shit comes up, tell yourself, I no longer care. Be done with it. Let it go. Stop putting this emotional weight upon your negativity and just let the negativity go. Negativity comes up in us, but you don't want to let it go as fast as it comes up. And that's part of the trick with this. It's part of the self-regulation of getting around these obstacles so they don't become triggers. It's all food for thought. I hope you guys can have a good weekend.